Well, howdy y'all. Handy Redneck here. Uh, we're inside. It's pretty late at night, but uh, I found some seeds that I thought I'd used all of them up a couple of years ago, but I didn't. I still got one packet of uh, Moringa Olifera, or also known as a horseradish tree. Uh, you can eat the bark of this thing, you can eat the fruit, you can eat the leaves, uh, and uh, they're pretty tasty. I got one growing outside now, but I, I, I want a couple more growing so I can get more leaves. This is what the seeds look like. They're actually pretty big. You know, I got 18 seeds and I got 18 places to plant them. So we're going to take our seeds and, and give them a, a, a good shove down in, in these. Make sure that we get them covered. You know, if we need to, we would we'll get us a little dibble and start us a hole. And drop them down in that hole. That might be the easier way. We'll just go ahead and double these up right quick because I think it will be easier. These seeds I ordered and got started and going about three years ago. I Last year I had two Moringa trees. It looks like this year one of them uh, didn't overwinter too well so looks like I'm down to one and I would like more. Um, I don't know if they'll overwinter here or not, but uh, from what I understand, um, they they cut back. You can cut them back pretty good and cover them up, and they they'll survive and come back the next year, uh, and so on and so forth. So if I can get five or six of these going, you know, I'll get a second one potted up into a bigger pot that comes in the house with the, my old one. And uh, we'll get the these others uh, planted outside somewhere. And like I say, hopefully they'll get to, get to growing and we can keep them going. Uh, year after year. Um, from what I understand, these these are quote unquote what a lot of people would consider a survival tree or a survival food. Because like I say, you need the bark, you need the leaves, you need the fruit, and uh, these things uh, do come back when they're cut back. Um, I cut mine. Uh, I cut mine back in late winter uh, when they're somewhat dormant even though they're inside the house and uh, if you look at the other video that I posted earlier you'll see that um, my oldest moringa has come back and is starting to leaf out again so the I still have hope for the second one but I ain't holding my breath. It's still got a green trunk, so it might come back. But in the meantime, we got these 18 seeds. We're going to try to get them up and going. And again, that's uh, uh, Moringa Olifera, or the horseradish tree. Um, go ahead and uh, look it up online. I'll try to put a link in the bottom here. Uh, to its Wikipedia page so you can learn more about it. Anyway, uh, this here's a handy redneck and I'll talk to you later.